Hi everyone, Seth Alchemist here. Today is a ritual that I'm going to do for you guys. This ritual is going to be for abundance, for protection, because I have been feeling some very weird energy happening within the past few days. I think it's happening all around the world. And even nature is acting weirdly and um, there's something going on. There's something that's kind of doesn't seem right. It feels off. So I want to do this ritual for you guys and for everyone who's going to watch it for protection uh, and for manifesting the abundance that you want and for just being protected. We're going to call on spirits, open the portal, call on our guardian demons, guardian spirits that are going to assist us in this ritual. And before I proceed with the ritual, I want to remind you that in sethalchemist.com, link in the description box below, you can find this sigil here that I'm using here. This is a sigil for abundance and protection, not for protection and abundance. And uh, all the writings I that you see on top, I added myself to intensify the ritual and it has some symbology and some secret meanings. But the ritual you're gonna get doesn't have these writings, so you can add on your own writings or the name of the people you want to include on the, on the ritual or the amount of money you want to manifest because whatever you write down uh, will uh, intensify the manifestation. Writings is a representation of uh, vibration because vibration, we can't see what vibrations are. We can speak one way to represent the vibration in the physical reality is speech. And another way is writing. That's why in ancient civilizations, um, writing was very important because you're uh, basically giving a body or giving a physical shape to the vibration you want to transmit. Therefore, writing down the names of the people you want in the sigil or the amount of money you want or whatever wish you have makes that vibration happen in the physical reality. So remember that writing is very important. The same with speech, with talking. Talking is also a manifestation of the vibration. I'm just gonna light up this candle here. So remember that I have this sigil for a purchase in cephalchemist.com and other sigils as well. I added recently, just uh, very recently, I added a sigil for for banishing, banishing malicious entities and spirits. I just, I just have it. It's the newest one I have. It's a really, really cool sigil. If you want to check it out, and I have also, I offer personal readings, many cool stuff. My book, How to Embrace Your Darkness, sephalchemist.com. Let's get right into the ritual. So. I'm going to, I think we can light up one more candle here that we have. And um, what I'm going to do is open the portal to invoke all the spirits. And also I have tarot here for you guys. I'm going to do a little tarot reading for you. So let's open the portal. Here we go. Let there be fire. All right. I hereby declare the portal open. And I also summon all of the spirits all of the demons, all of the deities that are willing to help us manifest everything we want in this ritual. I am summoning them to be present and to help us be protected and manifest everything we want. Protection is key here because the energies are very weird. Whatever is happening right now on planet Earth in this reality, we need everyone who's watching this to be protected. And let's get right to it. So what I'm going to do here is that we have this container or this uh, bowl or this jar that I'm going to put in the middle of the sigil. 
where all the energy is focused. So I'm going to put it right here. And inside, I'm going to give some little offerings to all of the spirits and burn them. Before doing so, I'm going to do like one reading to see what card is going to come out for us today. Just as guidance, because we want some guidance from spirit. So, this is the card that came to me here. It's the Ace of Swords reversed. Towards me, it's reversed. Towards you guys, it's upright. So if I would take it for you guys, it's upright. That means there's something some, something new, something new that's going to come your way. It's a new beginning. Whatever it is that you guys um, are thinking about right now is going to happen or it's taking time to manifest. The energies are weird. They feel very low. They feel very aggressive. But um, because the principle of rhythm, after every low, there's a high. That means things are going to get very good soon. So I'm going to put this card here. I'm going to put one other card. Something came up here. Lord of Oppression, Ten of Wands. However, this is refers towards you guys. That means that because I know the camera angle is this, so I'm doing this reading like this for you guys. That means... Any obstacles and any problems are going to be dissolved after this ritual. And you have to take it seriously. You have to believe in it. If you don't believe in it, it's not going to work. So I'm going to put this card right here. And one last card, the third one for mastery. Because number three is for mastery. So we need one last card that's going to govern the ritual. And this card is the Princess of Wands. So for you guys who are watching... This is your energy today, the energy of fire, the energy of abundance, of taking over, of control, of just going for the things that you want. And um, this is the energy that you have right now within you. There's new beginnings coming and there's not going to be any obstacles for those beginnings. So these are really, really great news. And let's start the ritual. I'm going to open this here and remember guys this is um, just to remind you I'm doing this because I feel there's something off if this doesn't resonate with you it's okay it's not for you um, but if it does resonate then it's for you if you don't feel this weird energy or this weird change then you don't need to do this ritual with me. You don't need to look at it. You don't need to watch it. You can ignore it. This is just for the people who feel that there's something in the works. I feel like there's a dimensional shift or there's something going on within the dimensions of the of existence that are kind of there's there's something happening and um, uh, and it's in the works as we speak. So I'm calling on all our spirits that are present right here to help us with this shift, with this change. 2022 is going to be an amazing year and we want to be protected and we want to be abundant. Oh, wow. Look at that fire. That is crazy. How did that fire start like that? That's crazy. We're going to put another here as an offering. I'm going to put it right here. One more from here, and I have this flower here as well. I'm using a lot of elements of earth today, so earth and fire. These are dried flowers here, and we want some dried leaves from here. I'm gonna. So, again, in your ritual, if you want to do your own ritual, just use the, uh, uh, use the elements that you feel your spirits want you to offer, whichever elements you feel that you want to uh, to have. Uh, is it earth? Is it water? Is it fire? You can use water as well. It doesn't always have to be fire. You can use water. Let's light up another leaf here. And this is, this is bay leaf. And I love bay leaf so much for rituals. Okay, okay, the fire wants to take over that leaf. It's, it's, it's crazy. The fire wants to really take over. I'm going to 
use matches. So again, this is raw, it's not edited, it's just the way it is. Exactly, I just wanted to do it for you guys, so it feels like you guys are with me. Like right here, present with me. And after this ritual is done, after these offerings that I just did here for the spirits, I see that one candle has turned off. I'm going to take all of these offerings and I'm going to take this sigil that's underneath because it's going to have the energy of the offerings. I'm going to take this sigil that you see here and I'm going to burn it inside as well. And um, I'm going to offer it later, but the fire here is taken properly. So that sigil that holds the energy of protection and manifestation, I'm going to take it. I'm going to burn it all along together with the ashes here. It's either that or I'm going to fold it until it becomes very small and bury it inside earth. So because we want the protection of earth, because we live on earth, we exist on earth, we want earth's protection for whatever uh, um, whatever thing that's happening because sometimes we don't have control over the things that are happening on earth and earth's earth needs to heal sometimes it needs to do certain things and these things can be dangerous for us they could be dangerous for us they can be um they can be you know they they can be scary for us it could be like nature uh catastrophical nature storms tsunamis earthquakes and nature needs to do that sometimes for itself to heal so um, we want Earth's protection because we are on it. And that's why I'm doing a lot of offerings from Earth. And I'm going to take that sigil that's going to have all of that amazing energy. That's why the bowl is on top of the sigil. And I'm going to bury it inside of Earth for everyone who's watching today. Nicely burned. Oof. Nice. All right, all right. Just making sure that the fire does not... um. Because we don't we, we don't want to burn the, the place. That's that's very important. We don't want to burn the place. We want to um, wow. <sighs> Alright. We don't want to burn the place. Because Okay, this is working nicely. Um, it's burning nicely. As you can see here, everything is burning nicely. It's working. We're going to get protection. We're going to get abundance. And as this fire is burning, I will invite you guys to focus with me. Focus with me. As I'm saying this spell. <laughs> Spirits for protection, abundance. Protection, abundance for everyone that's watching here. Everyone. Much gratitude, much appreciation. Forever protected, forever abundant. Thank you, spirits. We appreciate it. We're on earth. We're grateful for life. And we want your blessing. We want your guidance. But we want to also be able to create our own realities. We are the gods all together. We are co-creating everything together. Much gratitude, much abundance. Thank you all. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. We might understand our purpose and we might not. Either way, we are here. We're living here for a reason. And for that reason, we want guidance. We want protection. We want abundance. We want safety. We want peace. We want positivity in life and most importantly fulfill what we came here to do thank you very much and we have accomplished what we came here to do because the fire is gone thank you
okay. I think you guys have felt that. You felt the, the power of that energy. I am going to pull a couple more cards for you to see what's the outcome of this ritual that we did here. And the cards are going to read towards you again. I'm going to keep it consistent with the beginning. What's the outcome of this ritual? Spirit, can you please tell us, based on the cards, what's the outcome for everyone who participated in this ritual, in this beautiful ritual? All right. So we have the King of Pentacles reversed. It's card one. Oh, and then we have this card that I pulled. Interesting, but it's reversed. That means we're going to leave that here. And one. That's inter another one reversed? Okay. It's not reversed. It's just... Oh, okay. It was not reversed. It's just reversed towards me because... I think when I'm reading like this, I just get I get weirded out because the camera's over there, so I get confused. Reverse as in like the cards are towards you. Anyways, we have the Princess of Swords and we have the Chariot. So we're going to have abundance we're going to have money we're going to have movement we're going to have a lot of moving forward and uh, basically um, financial abundance physical abundance here I see connecting to the underworld embracing our power embracing our darkness and moving forward dashing moving forward so as you guys can see these cards like this th this is what the ritual is going to help us accomplish And I'm going to close the portal right now so the spirits that are present here for everyone can go back to where they came from. Thank you to all the spirits that were here and are hereby declare the portal closing. Portal has closed. Thank you guys for watching. Again, link in the description box below, sefalchemist.com. Don't forget to check it out and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.